Okay, we've looked at the basic details of transcription and translation. Now we're going to break them down and look at them individually. And we're talking first specifically about transcription. Transcription is the process of taking the genetic code in DNA. Usually we're talking about one gene. One gene is just a sequence of bases. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a copy of that gene in the form of RNA, and we're going to call it messenger RNA, and then that RNA is going to leave the nucleus and go find a ribosome to be translated, and that's translation. So we're just talking about the details of this first part here, which is called transcription. So for the higher level details, we have to understand um, a little bit more detail, especially the directions of how this actually works. So if you remember in DNA replication, we started to care about the five prime and three prime directions. And it turns out that that's very important here as well too, because the direction that we make this message, um, this mRNA molecule, depends on the five prime and three prime end of the DNA molecules as well. So first take a look for number one, how many amino acids will be coded for by the DNA section below? Well, if you remember that one amino acid is actually coded for by one codon, and one codon is three of these bases. Can you pause and count it up really quick? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, 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 uh, you should actually add some color to it so it'll make it a lot easier for you to understand what's going on here. So here's a DNA molecule and we need to make a strand of mRNA. If we're going to do that, we have to unzip this temporarily and our RNA polymerase enzyme is actually going to help us to do that. It's going to unzip and at the same time while unzipping, it's actually going to build a complementary strand of mRNA. Now look at question two here. If transcription is only carried out in a five prime to three prime direction, which strand above will be transcribed? See if you can pause the video and figure that one out. The hint is, um, to what, when we're saying carried out in a five prime to three prime direction, that means the mRNA molecule can only be built starting on the five prime end and then ending on the three prime end. So it can only be built in that particular direction. Okay, mouse is acting kind of funny. If you figured out correctly, you might have said it's the blue strand here. Did you guys get the blue strand? Ugh, computer technical difficulties, but that's okay. I won't edit it because I like to keep it, you know, real. So if you take a look here, the answer is the blue strand. If you can't figure that out, let's zoom down and actually take a look at what's going on here. So look at this lower diagram over here. If you look at this lower diagram, you can see that the blue strand and the, and the black strand have been separated a little bit. And you can actually see that if I'm going to build in the five prime to three prime direction, well, these various numbers have to actually match up. So if this is actually a five prime, the other side would have been a three prime. So if I'm going to transcribe one of these, looks like I can only match up with, if we're heading in this direction, the right direction of synthesis, then it looks like three prime has to match with the five prime. So we, in this case, if we're transcribing to the right, I think I should have made that more clear up here. Well, here's the RNA polymerase. If it's heading to the right, which strand is it actually copying? technically. Now, uh, it gets a little bit tricky here because you have to tell the difference between the strand that we're actually reading and then the strand that will actually resemble the mRNA molecule. So we give these things two names. We call this the sense strand and the anti-sense strand um, of these two strands of DNA. And what we end up seeing is, take a look at this, this RNA molecule right here in red is being built by reading this blue strand. So take a look, T, a, T, A, A, normally should be T, but this is RNA, so it's a U there. C to G, C to G, G to C, A to U, A to U. So it's clearly reading this blue strand in order to create its actual sequence. Are you guys following this? So five prime to three prime is matching the blue strand, which runs three prime to five prime. So that's taken care of. We're moving to the right. 
we're using this blue strand to create a complementary sequence. But notice this. The strand, the sequence of bases here, is not the same as the sequence down here because we're using this to create the sequence. But look at the black strand above. The letters here are actually spelling out the exact instructions that are on the black strand above. Take a look. A, A, U. This is just a replacement for thymine, right? G, 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 G. So the red mRNA strand resembles the black one. This makes sense. So the black strand is actually called the sense strand and the blue strand is called the anti-sense strand. So look back over here to three. We've already distinguished between them which chain above is the sense strand. We've said it's the black strand right here. And why is that the case? Well, look at its, its sequence of nucleotides. It actually matches and resembles the mRNA. So in the end, which is the strand that is always transcribed? In other words, which one are we using as our template for transcription? And the answer, it's actually our anti-sense strand. So you can't just write down blue and black and because it's not, you're not going to see colors in any questions like this. But that's what we mean when we say the sense strand and the anti-sense strand. So the sense strand is a strand that resembles the sequence of nucleotides. And the anti-sense strand is a strand that is actually transcribed in order to create an MR. RNA molecule that resembles the sense strand. Therefore, these are the codons. These are the codons that will code for the amino acids for the gene, I mean, sorry, for the protein that we want to make, the protein that we want to make. Um, then take a look at this little blue box there. It's mentioning the same thing. I think that is good. Let's cut it off right there and then split it up into uh, another video. But go ahead, go back and take a look at this. Start with question one at the beginning of the video and then see if you can make sense of this again to yourself. Make sense of the sense strand. All right.